so I came on the project uh, because of Ray, uh, Ronaldo Marcus Green, the director. He and I go back to his first film. Uh, he had a film called Monsters and Men uh, a few years ago, and I scored that, and then also worked with him on King Richard. And so as soon as he got the opportunity to, to do this, he started talking to me about it. And I uh, remember us having early conversations about you know what this might uh, be to take on this responsibility. And so for me, I feel like it was, my, my mind already went into overdrive, trying to think about how to represent Bob uh, through the score uh, and how that score would relate to his music and trying to have some sort of continuity between the two, but also making sure that those two things felt like they had their own identities. And so that definitely felt like a decent amount of pressure uh, and responsibility to take on, but not only having the support of Ray, but also uh, having conversations with Ziggy and now Steven and having them step into the process with me to talk about what instruments we might be able to use to uh, to help the score feel like it it's, has some cultural significance and roots uh, and continuing to work with them to figure out how we make sure that the sound in the score, whether it's thematically or instrumentation wise or you know, size wise, that it all feels like it makes sense and comes from the core that is uh, Bob's music. I think it's so, um, so amazing and so important that this film's being made just because of, you know, what Bob Marley stood for as an artist and as a human. And I feel like we're in a time where that message is um, going to land pretty deeply, I think. Uh, even me reading the script and having conversations with Bray about it, it feels like, um, and, and watching old interviews with him, it feels like all messages that are helpful for me to keep in mind myself. Um, and it's just so inspirational to see how uh, selfless he really was with his life and with his effort and his energy and, and how much he put everything he could into the music and what he was trying to do with that music. And so I feel like, you know, he was hands down one of the greatest artists uh, of all time when you look at like his impact on the world globally and how many people know his music in every part of the, the world. Um, but again, I think that right now is such a very particular time for us to have uh, a reminder of what his life and his music stood for. What's so interesting about his catalog is that even if you haven't spent time dedicating yourself to learning his music, you probably know a lot of his songs. You know, I think about the fact that like, for me, it wasn't until high school that I really started to dig a bit deeper into his catalog. And then as I got older, kind of going a bit further. And as soon as I did that, there were so many songs where I was like, oh, I actually kind of already know this song, even though I'd never really like intentionally sat down and listened to it, it already impacted my life. And so I think that that uh, shows how infectious some of these melodies are, some of these like themes are, and also just what he's saying in, in the music. When I first started talking to Ziggy about what the score would be on this film, and we talked about the importance of making sure the culture felt and, and the music felt like it had a very significant presence on the score and that like the score wasn't just your typical Hollywood like cinematic score. Uh, they mentioned that they were coming to Jamaica for the filming. And I was like, man, I, like, I'd really love to try to come down there. And they're like, yeah, you should do that. And then um, I feel like a week later, I was talking to the studio about booking a flight. And then like Ziggy and Matt were sending me information about Naibingi music and um, like historical information about uh, reggae music and documentaries to watch. And so I started watching all those things and also immediately felt like, well, we need to record something while we're down here. Like my initial reason for coming down here was just to visit set, just like, you know, see how things are going and like see if being here would have some sort of inspiration. But it felt so important to, to record something while we were here and try to uh, capture something that felt like it was, you know, I feel like anytime you try to record uh, authentic music not in that place, it always feels like it's like a little removed. So for me, it felt like, so important to to record something here and it feels like pretty amazing to um yeah to just be here and to have this experience going into writing music for this